Okay, hi everybody out in quarantine land. It's Polly Woods, and uh, I'm giving you the update from my living room, which is in quite a disarray right now because all my furniture is out of here. It's a long story and not one that I'm going to go into right now. I'm recording this um, before I have to go into work, and I figured I'd make this quick. You know what? The hardest thing about uh, this physical distancing and, and quarantining is I'm finding, uh, particularly over the last day or two, um, I'm missing my hugs. I'm, I'm a guy that likes his hugs and uh, you know occasionally I'll, I'll go over to my brother's place, it's a two minute walk away and he's got his four kids there um, with another one. Number five is on the way in a few weeks and uh, you know I was there uh, last week and number four, uh, the year and a half year old, comes careening down the stairs, the big grin on her face, you know, you know, screaming, Anka, Anka! And she doesn't, she, you know, she's only starting to talk. And so the fact that she's screaming, Anka, Anka, with a big grin on her face and arms outstretched, wanting to hug me, I couldn't pick her up, I couldn't cuddle her, and she wanted that so much. And I'm sure she felt rejected by me, and I definitely felt really terrible that I had to do that. I really miss that. I really miss cuddling my nieces and my nephew and hugging my mom and hugging other people and giving high fives even or fist bumps and stuff. So to help me get through this I've decided to resort to my teddy bear Marvin. Say hi Marvin. What's that? Who are we talking to? Oh, we're talking to the people out on YouTube, right, and Facebook, and we're going to show them how to get through this and how to deal with, with uh, hugging without actually hugging people, because you're not a person, you're a bear. The bears don't get COVID-19. However, just to be on the safe side, we are going to kind of clean you off a little bit, so we're just going to give you a little spray. There we go. Uh, she will get the nose too. Watch. Make sure you don't breathe it in. There you go. Okay. So, I've had Marvin since I was a little child. Um, probably about five or six. I can't remember exactly when. Um, I got him for Christmas one year. And yes, we've had some hugging moments before. You know, as I've gotten older, he's kind of spent his time on a special reserve part of my shelf, you know, where he kind of looks over my room and keeps an eye on me. But I decided to bring him out because I need hugs, so there we go. Yeah. There we go. One more? Okay. I know people are thinking this guy, he's 43 and he's hugging his teddy bear, but I mean, in desperate times, you gotta make do with what you got. And sometimes, you know, having a some something there to help kind of draw the attention away from what's at hand, just in all the implications is is a good thing. So if you have, you know, your, your, your teddy bears, your old teddy bears, you know, make sure they're sanitize and stuff like that, but you know, if you need a hug. You know, particularly for us single people who are living at home and there's nobody here and it's really tough. I know you might you might be living with your, your spouse or partner and children and might be, you know, sneaking hugs here and there, but you know, when you're at home you really miss the the physical intimacy of a hug or even like a a high five or a fist bump. So, there you go. All right, so when these restrictions and the coronavirus goes away, I'm definitely going to be in a very huggy mood. I would uh, advise you if you are adverse to having hugs, probably steer clear of me for like probably like a month because I'll probably want to hug everything in sight. And uh, definitely uh, Colin Weeks, I mean, when we get back to church, um, we're gonna do like a running high five. I'll just just running high five, I don't care. We'll do it at the front. You come from one side, I'll come from the other side, and we'll just do just a huge running high five. 
Joel Third Kettle, watch out, I'm coming for you in, in consensual hugs. Everything's consensual. And uh, Alexandra, I gave her a virtual hug today. I gave my mom a virtual hug today. I'm gonna give a few more people virtual hugs today. And, uh, but when I see you again, I need a hug. I need, I need hugs from people. So there you go, that's the update for today. Go, I know, practice physical distancing. Keep your distance. Don't high five, don't hug, you know, for real. But if you got your teddy bears or your other stuffies, clean them off. Practice, you know, cuddling with them. You know, hey, whatever. All right, see you guys later. Bye.